It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by the head volleyball coach for the Southwestern Bulldogs, Coach Josh Collins. Always a privilege, Coach, to get to visit with you, friend of the channel and, and just a personal friend as well. But today we celebrate one of those milestone numbers, 200th victory as the head volleyball coach there at Southwestern. Congratulations for that. 200, that's a big number. Joey, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit off air, but it's it's really good to see you. Uh, see you healthy and uh, just uh, just blessed to, to have you here with us, man. I know that that was a, a rough go and uh, it really is good to see you. So thank you. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. And, and yeah, 200, um, you know, it's it's exciting. It's it's cool. Um, I, I don't know what what much uh, more to say about it. You know, it, it took a long time to get there. So, uh, you know, I, I think as we talked earlier, it, you know, maybe more of a testament to longevity than to excellence because it, it's taken 13 seasons to get to 200. But there have been a lot of great people, um, you know, in this program and, and surrounding this program that uh, have done just as much or more than I've done. And and uh, all 200 of those wins go to them as well. So, Well, and I appreciate, appreciate the humility. It's something I thought of recently, too, and I think I may mention this more often as, as coaches talk about that longevity in the 21st century and especially now in the 2020s sometimes longevity is not an option and the fact that you've had that longevity as a head coach on the college level is a testament too so congratulations for that along with the 200th win a victory that came on a night that was a milestone victory for the program as well you get uh, a win in conference play over an Oklahoma Baptist team on the road in Shawnee, a place that the program hadn't won in 10 years. So talk about that. That's a big win for the program too. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, obviously that's a huge testament to OBU. You know, Anna does a fantastic job and um, she recruits well, but then she also coaches well. So uh, it, it's, you know, there's not any questions as to why it's been so hard for us to win there. Uh, they're a really good program with a really good coach. And so um, it, it was a big win for us. And I was very pr proud of uh, our team and just the way that they competed and the amount of grit that they displayed. Uh, we had several chances to lose that match and they just decided that we would not. And so I'm very proud of our girls and, and just the way that they played. It was a, a five-set thriller there in Shawnee. So let's talk about the match just a little bit. Led by Lacey Mott, 30 kills. For those of you keeping score at home, six kills per set. And she did it, by the way, hitting 406. That's a fantastic night, Coach. Yeah, that's that's a really impressive thing about There's a lot of really impressive things about Lacey, but uh, just the the fact that she can lead us in uh, kills uh, also by uh, – and also lead us in hitting percentage. You know, she's top three in the conference in hitting percentage, and you typically see that go to uh, the middle uh, hitter position. And uh, she is third in the conference in hanging percentage as an outside, and she gets a lot of attempts. Uh, she's a really good volleyball player. We're visiting now with Coach Josh Collins here on Midwest Sportsnet. As we talk on the summit, I encourage you, please, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, take the time to do that. I I've mentioned a few times recently, I have absolutely zero idea what that does for us according to the great YouTube algorithm. But it is pretty cool to, to see those numbers go up, and, and we think it helps us. So please subscribe to the channel. Coach, coming off that 200th victory, longevity or you know whatever the case may be, it still means a lot. And I, I'd like you to, to talk a little bit about your path to becoming a collegiate volleyball coach. Yeah, uh, kind of a crazy deal. I, I wasn't introduced to volleyball until I came to college. I played uh, basketball at Clarendon Junior College in, in the Texas Panhandle. Um, and in my sophomore year, um, the volleyball coaching staff asked me to call lines. And so I, I called some lines uh, that whole year. And really, I only know in and only knew in and out, you know, like uh, touch was <laughs> well beyond my scope of understanding. Um, but then after my sophomore year, I transferred here to Southwestern to uh, pursue uh, men's basketball coaching and was a student assistant for the men's basketball team when I got here. And I got here in the fall of 04 and uh, they were looking to start the volleyball program in the spring of 05. They were going to bring a coach in 05 and then first season would be fall of 05. And so um, I told them about the the coaches at Clarendon Junior College, um, Bo Palasotti and Justin Manus. Um, and I'd, I'd become pretty close with them at Clarendon. Uh, 
they ended up uh, interviewing interviewing those two and, and brought them in, and and they became our first head coaches for volleyball here. Uh, and so Coach Bo came in, and I was just catching up with him, and uh, just said, you know, I'd be glad to call lines for you if you want me to. And he's like, well, Why don't you just be my student assistant? And I said, I don't know anything about volleyball. And he said, oh, I'll handle that. <laughs> and uh, really, the rest is history. It's it's very cool, and uh, you know, I, I received a lot of great text messages from a lot of uh, people. Uh, for that 200th win and and obviously that's really cool coach Bo was one of them and uh it was awesome because i had an opportunity to say man you know not only the the 200 thing uh which is pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things but uh just my purpose in life you know um this this uh great uh career that i have where i, I have fun every day when i come to work and i uh, just love what i'm doing and and uh, get to be surrounded by great people um, none of that would have been possible if it wasn't for Coach Bo just believing in me and giving me an opportunity and and kind of pushing me to go into this thing. So uh, really good people, uh, you know, and that that comes with uh, being that comes with longevity. I think you know you, you get to be surrounded by really good people uh, when you're at places for a long time. So you know, you keep using that word longevity, and I'm going to throw an old joke in here at some point in time, but yeah. uh, I'll I'll save it for right now just to to. Uh, put a bow on that particular part of the conversation. It is interesting uh, to see the path that God allows us to be on the paths that God puts us on. And uh, the, the intriguing part often isn't seen until we look back the five, the 10, the 20 years to, to get to see that and recognize what it was to, to take, to get you to where you are right now, coach over the course of that time, then, I mean, I know there had to be, uh, there have been some big victories along the way, uh, there have probably been some very tough losses along the way, but sticking with the positive right now, uh, can you give us one or two of, of those big victories or the high points that that you look back on and say, yeah, this this was really cool? Uh, you know, obviously when we won the the Great American Conference tournament in 2015, that was that was pretty cool. Um, in, in 2016, we beat West Texas A&M for the first time in program history, and uh, that was pretty cool. That their announcer there is a He's a really nice guy and always, uh, you know, has a good conversation. And, and uh, he just came on and, and congratulated our program and congratulated me on, you know, that that win, uh, you know, those come to mind. And, you know, honestly, Monday night's match, it, it'll be, you know, a very memorable win. Um, you know, again, that is always pointing back to when you remember wins, it's usually because you beat uh, really good coaches and really good programs on the other side. And so, you know, hats off to, to OBU and, and WT and, and, you know, we beat Southern Arkansas in the championship with uh, Stephen Grimm as a coach who's now winning national championships at Cali County uh, back in 2015. So uh, all great programs, great coaches. Well, there's a phrase that we use around our house, and you can tell probably that uh, we are from the South or Southern Oklahoma in particular. And, and sometimes we'll say, day ain't over yet. And I know in, in your case, the season ain't over yet, Coach. Uh, there are uh, some more regular season matches, three more, including uh, conference play before you head to the postseason tournament, which, by the way, Southwestern has already locked up its bid to the Great American Conference Tournament once again for 2024. Coach, you host East Central on Thursday, and then you have uh, rival Northwestern coming to town next week before you finally close out the season on the road against Southeastern. Talk about the close to your season as you head to the tournament. Well, you know, I think a lot of us GAC coaches have talked about how there are no easy ones. You know, um, our conference is uh, getting better and better every year, and the parity is as good this year as it's ever been. And so, uh, you know, all three of our opponents remaining on our, our regular season schedule here are tough. Um, you know, East Central is the only team in the conference who's beat us this year. They beat us at their place. Um, and so, you know, we're ready to go. You know, we're, we're, we're ready to uh, have a chance to avenge that. Um, but they're super talented. They have really good outsides, um, a really good setter. They're solid defensively. And they're well coached, uh, you know. That's going to be a theme <laughs> for the rest of the season. So uh, then we get a chance to host Northwestern. It's a rivalry game, um, you know. I expect that we'll have a great crowd, and and uh, usually Northwestern brings quite a few people with them as well. So um, a, another team, great outsides, a great setter um, who's coming off of an injury and and you know back in the lineup, and 
uh, really well coached. So, uh, and then we, you know, have the joy of driving down to Durant uh, to Joey McWilliams country uh, for the last game of the year. Uh, and again, play another really well coached team, uh, two of the best players in the conference, uh, you know, with their setter and their outside. So uh, it's, it's a tough place to play. Um, so a lot of work left to be done. Um, but we're excited to uh, have the privilege and opportunity to, to play this sport uh, for this school. Coach Josh Collins coming off the 200th victory personally for him and uh, the program that has just been a quality program. Josh, you talked about Coach Bo, and I, I will talk about you as well. Coach Josh Collins, just a fantastic program over the years. Well done. You recruit good players to your program and I think that says a lot about what you all have done there in Weatherford over the course of the last 20 some odd years so thank you very much for taking time with us today and letting us celebrate win number 200 with you and uh, we look forward to following you the remainder of the season and as you'll be heading to hot springs for the GAC tournament to follow thank you Joey uh, again great to see you thank you so much for having me on and uh, giving me an opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, volleyball and about people who are are important to me and, and you're one of those people so thank you for all that you've uh, done for me and our program